This is page 307. It's called writing real-world problems for a given equation. You can write a real-world problem for a given equation, examine each number and mathematical operation in the equation. Example 4. Write a real-world problem for the equation 21 and 79 hundredths plus x is equal to 25. Then solve the equation. Step 1 is to examine each part of the equation. x is the unknown or quantity we're looking for. 2179 is added to x. 25 equals 25 means that after adding 2179 and x, the result is 25. Step 2, write a real world situation that involves adding two quantities. Joshua wants to buy his mother flowers and a card for Mother's Day. The and a card indicates that he's going to buy two things, that's why it's adding. Joshua has $25 to spend and selects roses for $21.79. How much can he spend on the card? Solve the equation. Remember, this is a good reminder, remember that what you do is you, since it's addition, we're going to uh, solve by subtracting. We've gone over this a couple times now. Since it's an addition, I kind of want to, I think I'm going to cover this up. So I'm going to cover this up and show you uh, what I would do. So we know the equation is 2179, that's the cost of the roses, plus the cost of the card needs to be $25. Remember, he's going to buy, uh, he's going to spend $25 on his mom for Mother's Day. He's going to buy two items. So I want to remind you how to solve this. Uh, the first thing we ask ourselves is what kind of problem is it? It's an addition problem, so therefore we solve by subtracting. And what do you subtract is you subtract the number that goes with the variable. The number that goes with the variable is 2179. So we're going to subtract 2179 from 2179. And that results in 0, and that's the whole point. We want nothing on this side of the equation except for x. We isolate x, which is the whole point. Now if we sub, uh, subtract 2179 from one side of the equation, we have to subtract it from the other side of the equation. So I'm going to make this $25. I'm going to borrow, and I'll remind you that the first 0 um, is 10, and then the rest of the zeros are 9. And so 10 minus 9 is 1, and 9 minus uh, 7 is 2, and 4 minus 1 is 3. And 2 minus 2 is 0, I get 321. Well, 321 is how much money he has left to spend on a Mother's Day card. And that's what it says right here. Joshua can spend $3.21 on a Mother's Day card. And then how can we prove that? Well, we can just add up $3.21 plus $3.21 plus $21.79, and that needs to be 25, and it is. All right, so that should make a little bit of sense to you. Let's check out the next question, the reflect. The reflect, they kind of switch it around. They say, what if, how might the real-world problem change if the equation was x minus 2179 equals 25, and you, you still used ro uh, roses for 2179? So now x is some money here, and we're going to subtract the cost of the roses. But what does this mean here? Well, it's a subtraction problem. It means how much he has left. So in this scenario, we've got some money. He's got some money. He's going to buy some roses for $21.79. And after he does that, he's going to have $25 left over. That's what we have to explain. It says, how, how might it change? Well, it changes because um, in this equation, in this expert, in this equation, yeah. In this equation, x is an unknown amount of money, 2179 is the cost of the roses, and 25 is how much Joshua has left after buying the roses. So it definitely changed. We don't have to solve this right here. We could, though. If we wanted to solve this, we would actually solve by adding. Uh, he would have started with like $41 and something. $41.79, I think. All right, let's check out number 10. Uh, I'm sorry, number 9. The Your Turn. Number 9 reads, 
write a real world problem for the equation x minus 100 equals 40 then solve the equation so really we're going to be doing this similar type of thing that is what happened on this page here where we need to make up a scenario that matches that so I can help you with that so we need a real world situation where we subtract 100 well what kind of things happen when you subtract I think about spending money so here's what we know we know that we have some, uh, I, I would, we, it doesn't have to be money, but I, I like to think about this as money. Uh, I would say X is some money, and since we don't know how much it is, we're going to call it an un, unknown amount of money. Since subtracting money is kind of like spending, I would say buy something. Buy a skateboard. Buy a longboard. I remember buying a longboard a few years ago, and it was about 100 bucks. And then this could be the the answer would be how much money is left. So the real world situation I would make up would be you have you have some money. Notice I didn't say how much. You have some money in a savings account. You spend one hundred dollars on a skateboard. And then have forty dollars left. The question would be, how much money did you have before you bought the skateboard? That is a perfect scenario. Now the other thing you have to do then is solve. And so I'm going to go ahead and erase my annotations here. I'm going to move this up. This is my answer. The other thing you have to do is solve. And how do we solve this one? This is quite easy. Check this out. The expression is y minus 100 is equal to 40. And we solve a subtraction problem by adding. And we're going to add 100. If you add 100 to minus 100, that just uh, isolates the x. You have no money left, so it's x equals. And then you add 100 to 40, and you get 100. 40, I didn't line that up very well. It's very confusing the way I line that up, so I'm going to redo that. You have 140. Now, that, that should make perfect sense, because if I take x out and put 140 there, and you do 140 minus 100, you'd end up with 40. So how much money did you have before you bought the skateboard? $140. Now, they only gave us one line there, and we were supposed to write a scenario, and... Um, and uh, solve the equation. Um, so just do your best to squeeze it all in there. Uh, okay, good job. You're done with page 307.